Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we will be doing something extremely special. In today's video we will be trying to beat the Silverstone lap record. Which I believe the official version of it was set by Max Verstappen. About 127 something I believe. And... The uh, unofficial lap record, which was basically a fix set in qualifying in Silverstone, was set by Lewis Hamilton, which was a 124.303. If I can manage to beat either of those records, I have to give about, let's say, £40 to charity. And if I don't, well, I don't give anything. But, I just decided uh, that I just wanted to do this for fun, just to see if I could actually beat the Silverstone lap record. So, to begin with, we obviously have this Brabham B20 from 1966. And, as you see, we have different versions of Silverstone. Endurance, Grand Prix, Historic Chicane, International and National. We're going to be obviously doing the uh, Grand Prix version of Silverstone. So, let's begin by trying to set a lap time at this Brabham B20. Let's do this. Righty-ho, here we are at Silverstone, just uh, ready to begin our out lap just before we actually try to beat the record in the Brabham, which is unlikely to happen but we're gonna do it anyway let's do this oh what a car this is i have to say this is such um, it's just lovely to see the early days of f1 how you had to actually manually change gear like that anyway let's head out for our outlap i'd say you have to be kind of careful with a car like this because you never know quite what it's going to do right so I'm just going to bring the car out of the pits I'll see you guys when I have finished my out lap ok so coming on to the final corner of Silverstone I've got just gotten my warm up lap finished let's see what this baby can do Come on, old girl, you can do this. Across the line to begin our lap, first lap. Oh, it's the first corner. A lot of understeer there. Now, into the first corner, braking extremely hard. Accelerating. Now back down to first gear. As we enter onto the village straight. There we go. Oh, hitting the curb there. You have to do a lot of steering with cars of this era. Which is not very fun. Obviously, I have to break extremely early. In order to try not slip off the track. A lot of oversteer there. Or is it understeer? I don't know what I'm saying really. Anyway, through the Wellington Strait. Full throttle. Going through the Wellington Strait right now. That's where the old like pit lanes are, as you can may well see. Right. Now about to enter. Maggots and Beckett's. Oh, oh my god. Well, that was terrible, wasn't it? Let's rejoin the track. I had a bit of a practice yesterday on this game. It is called R Factor 2, for those of you who want to buy it. I'll link it in the description below if you want to buy it. I don't think we're going to get under one minute. I if, if, if think it's bound to be a two minute lap. 
brake. Oh, track limits will ignore that. Doesn't apply to us. I set the uh, track limit points down. I mean, um, to its max, so I can uh, don't get any penalties or anything. Right, final corner. Oh my goodness. Two minutes thirty point three five for the um, the Brabham. So yeah, that's the Brabham finished. On to the next car, I suppose. I suppose. Okay, for for our next car, as you can see, we have a. Formula E car, it is the Jaguar I Type 5, driven by none other than my favourite Formula E driver, which is none other than Mitch Evans. So, I suppose we shall get to it then. Here we are, starting in the pit lane to get going. Required a bit of input from me there. Right, we're just going to exit the pit lane. I'll see you guys when I exit the pit lane. Right, so just coming on to the final corner of my warm-up lap. And about to begin my hot lap in this Formula E car. There we go, across the line. Beginning our next lap in our next car. Can't, can barely see in this thing. Breaking into the first corner. So nice that someone fought up of a sport like Formula E. An electric alternative to Formula 1. Oh wow, this is quick. When we get down the Wellington straight, we are going to arm attack mode. Braking. Right. Let's get ready to arm attack mode. Let's do it. Do it. Three, two, one. Now! Move. Yes. That's it. Get it moving. Hopefully, that should provide a bit of boost for us. Turn, yes. Now about to enter Maggots and Beckett's again. Breaking! Oh my goodness. Now oh, that's just ruined my lap. Now I've got to make up time. Now haven't I? Let's have a tack ball. That'll give us some boost. And onto the grass. Goodness me, I'm not concentrating today. Concentrate. Concentrate, will you? Oh. I'm doing all sorts of rubbish, am I? And there we go. You know, sometimes the problem with me is that I always overcorrect my uh, mistakes that's what I do right 214.5 which is according to my sheet about roughly 16 seconds quicker than the Brabham which is a lot better than the last time a lot better than the previous lap we managed to get in there. Right, I suppose it's on to the next car then. Okay, so next on the list for our our attempt to beat the Silverstone lap record, we have the 1990 Ferrari, which was driven by none other 
than Alan Prost himself. So, without further ado, let's try to beat this lap with this thing. However, I must give you a quick warning before you do watch this lap. As this car is very, very loud due to the fact it has a very, very big V12 engine inside it. Anyway, I recommend actually the highest volume possible for this lap. Anyway, let's just get into this. Oh my word, listen to the sound of that V12 engine. It's just beautiful, isn't it? This car was actually made, produced in the year 1990, which was the one the year Senna won, the, the year Sen Ayrton Senna won his second world title for McLaren. The uh, first one was in 1988, after a huge, huge crash at Suzuka Circuit in Japan. Anyway, let's just listen to that V12 sing and I'll see you guys when we get onto my hot lap. Right, just finishing our lap out lap, I can already tell that this is going to be faster than any of the cars we have driven already. So on to the final corner, we now begin our hot lap. Oh my god, this is an exhilarating experience. I'm always constantly forgetting to change gear. Oh, went into neutral there by accident. My goodness me, what an exhilarating experience. Onto the village straight. Let's... Let's now belt it on the Wellington straight. Go, 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 come on. Yes, yes, yes. Make the most of the straight. Goodness me. One of the best experiences in sim racing I've ever had, I have to say. Let's not try, let's try not to cut this lap up like I did last, the previous few times. A couple of times, I should say. Onto the hangar straight right now. Listen to that V12 sink down this colossal straight. Breaking, breaking into the corner. Come on, baby, come on. Oh. Caught my finger on the floppy paddle gearbox of my steering wheel. Oh my word! Oh my goodness! What an absolute cracking experience that was! A 146.627. What an absolute monumental experience you have just driving this thing. Now I'm not the biggest fan of Alain Prost, but I have to say this has to be one of my favourite, one of my absolute favourite cars. One of my absolute favourite F1 cars in particular of all time. So let's just write that down real quick. And I'll see you guys when I get onto my next lap. Okay, so as you can see, we have our new car, which is the Williams Renault, or otherwise known as the Williams FW16, which is most famous uh, for being crashed by Ayrton Senna and at um, the Imola circuit and him tragically dying. Which is, well, an unfortunate occasion, I have to say. Anyway, let's try not to crash and die. Well, we can't crash and die. Because we are in sim racing and not in real life. So, let's try to beat that time. Which is uh, 1 minute 24.303, I believe, from Lewis Hamilton.
Let's do this. Oh, what a sound from that car. Listen to that V6 right there. Yes, this car is a lot quieter than the Ferrari that we just uh, raced. I'll see you guys once I've done my outlap. You know, in my opinion... Oh, sorry about that, guys. Let's just pretend that did not happen. Anyway, we're now just going to get onto our hot lap before we just spun there. Right, round the final corner, across the finish. There we go. Now speeding towards this first corner. Let's try not to spin. My goodness, my gear changing is not very good. Now, onto the village straight. We go. Now let's break here. Let's boot it down the Wellington straight. What I was going to say before I was rudely interrupted was that cars like this I always struggle to keep them on the track sometimes although that didn't make sense because I said always and sometimes twice but basically right sometimes I struggle to keep these cars on the track when for example when going through a corner I usually sometimes press the fro throttle pedal too much oh my god what was that oh my goodness well that was terrible wasn't it let's and over the line 152 slower even slower than the what's it called the Ferrari I'd say it's probably faster than the Ferrari well, I just cocked up on the end there. <laughs> if it wasn't for me cocking up on the end right there, I think we would have... As I guess, we probably would have beaten that Ferrari. Anyway, that's besides the point. Now, let's get onto our next car. I'll see you when we get onto our next car. <sighs> that is one beautiful sound. Anyway... Welcome to the 1996 Ferrari, driven by none other than Michael Schumacher himself. Let's do this. Right, we're now just about to get onto the track right here. I'll see you guys once I have done my outlap. Right, coming onto the final corner right now. A bit of oversteer, I'd say, there. Right, over the line, right now. Now beginning our hot lap. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Didn't want to do that. Okay, let's try to make up for that lost time as we go down the village straight right here. Break, break. Let's now down the vill down the Wellington Strait actually where the former pit lanes are Break Now heading towards Maggots and Beckett's Try not to lose any more time Move. That's it. Come on, come on, come on. Forgot to change gear right there. Now onto the hangar straight. Mm -hmm. 
final couple of corners. My a bit of understeer there. Final corner. Oh my. Two zero one point nine nine one. Well, that was a terrible lap, was it? Ignore that. Anyway, let's get on to our second to last car. Right, okay, now we are on to a much more modern Ferrari, the Ferrari F2007 from the year 2007. I'm just going to get this car warmed up and I'll see you guys when I get onto the track. Okay, coming up to the last corner. Braking. Let's be very careful and not try to spin like last time. There we go. Over the line. There we go. Right, so, so far we have made it unscathed, although that might be oh, oh, about to change as, as we go through, and it did. And it did. Now through the village straight. Break. This is one absolute beast, I have to say. I can barely even control this car itself so fast. Way faster than the previous cars. Way, way faster. Go, 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 yes. Goodness me. I'm so nervous to put my pedal on the accelerator. Or put my foot on the accelerator, I should say. Careful. Go, go, go. Come on, come on, come on. Go, go, go. And over the line. 148.554. Which I suppose is okay, but still could be a lot better. I'll see you guys when we get onto the final car. Oof, this is going to be a good one, this. For our final car now, we are, will be using this F1 car from 2020. Which, in this case, it's the Red Bull. Let's do this. Oh, this is an interesting car, I could say. Oh my god, I'm in neutral. Just be careful. Let's be extremely careful. Right. Let's exit the pits now. There we go. Right, I'll see you guys when I have finished my warm one wall up lap. Right, onto the final corner of my warm up lap and over the line. With this car we don't have to be as careful because we have the the full soft we have the soft compound tires as you can see these are the softest tires you can uh, get with uh, these F1 cars I deliberately set it that way so you can so we can get the fastest possible lap time go 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 come on come on come on down the Wellington straight that's it Break. Uh, 
and breaking into Maggots and Beckett's. Now we can just boot it through the hangar straight. Go, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on. I'll just say, those soft compound tyres are really helping this car to grip through the corners. Oh, final corner. Oh! That was a 1 minute 39.08. And there you have it, guys. That was the. That was me trying to attempt to beat the fastest lap at Silverstone, which I didn't beat any of them. I didn't even beat Max Verstappen's one. I got 1 minute 39.082, which is 12 seconds off Verstappen's time and about 15 seconds off Hamilton's time. Anyway, that is all I have time for. Be sure to like, share and subscribe to the channel. And I shall see all of you in the next video.